Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk a little more about place value because many other math concepts build upon place values. In other words, place values is part of the foundation of our house we talked about originally. Remember, you have to build from the bottom up. You'll want to know place values really well. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. So let's talk a little more about place value groups. We'll just start with the place values or buckets we talked about in the last video. The ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. This time, since we're working with just numbers and not kittens, we're going to create a box for each group instead of a bucket. And each box can only hold one digit, just like our buckets in the last video. Our digits are zero through nine, remember. And remember, we can't start filling up the next box until we've completely filled up the box before it. In other words, fill up the first box before starting to fill up the second, and fill up the second box before starting to fill up the third, and on and on. We could keep doing this literally forever. Well, now that you know how to fill up boxes, we'll quickly look at kind of going backwards a little bit. In other words, instead of filling up the buckets, let's start with a number and let's break that number into its place value groups. And here's what I mean about place value groups. For example, let's start with the number 5,472. To break this number into its place value groups, I like starting with the biggest number because I think it looks more organized. Okay, I think it's prettier. The biggest number is on the left. I don't mean the highest digit, which would be, let's see, two, four, five, it would be seven here. I don't mean the highest digit, I mean the biggest place value, which is always the place value at the farthest left. In our case, the biggest place value is the thousands group. And as you can see, we have a five in our thousands group. So we have five groups of 1,000. Let's separate that from the rest of our number. Now that I've pulled the five down, I can fill in the rest of the place values for my five with zeros. That means our place value group for the thousands is 5,000. Now let's do the hundreds group, since it's the next biggest place value. We pull down the four and add the zeros in the other place values, just like we did for the 5,000. Next, we do the same with the tens, giving us 70. And finally, we can bring down the digit in the ones place, which is two in this case. Now you can easily see each of the groups, right? That will be helpful when you practice your skills. And as we start working more on addition, subtraction, and other ways of counting faster. Well, that wraps up all I have for you about place values. Make sure to check the resources section of this lesson for any sidekicks you can use with your skills practice. Send me any questions if you get stuck. And until next time, remember, that the more you practice, the luckier you get. I'll see you in the next lesson. Oh, to the thief who stole my pillow, know this. I will not rest until I find you. Because I don't have a pillow. <laughs>